Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. And thank you, Filler. Today, we are featuring 1960, The Making of the President. It's July 4th. We thought it was, well, thematic. We thought Apropos. it made, Right? We thought it made sense today. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So, designed by Christian Leonard and Jason Matthews. You may recognize those names. Twilight Struggle, so on and so forth. Uh, originally published by Z-Man Games and recently republished by GMT Games. Want to point out, you know what, I'll talk about that later here in a little bit. Welcome everybody joining us live around the world as well as after the fact again. Happy July 4th. Thanks for taking some time out of your holiday for those here in the States. We really appreciate it. If you're overseas, it's called uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. So yeah, thanks. Maybe Thursday if you're down under. So yes. there's that. All right. Uh, I'm your host, Edward Euler. Amanda Euler. All right. So it's two-player only game. Um, yeah. We, all, uh, full disclosure, it's been a while since we both have played this. We're, we're both really familiar. We spent the last few hours going over yeah. everything. It's not hard. If you're familiar with other card-driven games or CDGs, this is going to be one of the kind of mid-weight mm -hmm. CDG or maybe a step up from something like a 13 days, stuff like that, but obviously a step below uh, Twilight Struggle, so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah. Also, it's about 90 degrees here in the studio, so bear with us. Our AC is still out. We'll do the best we can, all right? Yes. So, it's warm. It is. So, like normal, I'm going to take the cameras down. I'm going to take the uh, the chat down for the teach, and then once we get started, bring everything up. So, are you ready? Uh, I guess that would be uh, Miss Nixon. I am ready, Mr. Kennedy. All right. So, let's get into 1960, The Making of the President. All right, so this recreates, obviously abstractly, the pivotal election of 1960 when it was the Democrats represented by JFK. I'm going to be playing JFK, as you can see, against Richard Tricky Dick Nixon for the Republicans. Amanda's going to be playing Nixon. So this, the goal of the game here is to get to 269 electoral votes. Mm -hmm. That'll make more sense as we go along. Just know that we're not going to know exactly where we are uh, until the end of the game. The game's going to take place over nine rounds or nine turns, as you can see down here on the turn track. Seven of the nine turns are going to be identical other than our hand size. So the first five rounds are going to be basic or standard rounds. Round seven and eight will be as well. Round six is not going to be normal. It's going to be the debates. It's going to, yeah. And then round nine is going to be election day, i.e. let's figure out who won. Mm -hmm. The first five phases, or I'm sorry, the first five turns and the seventh and eighth turn are going to follow this phase track. So let's go ahead and talk about what you guys are looking at here on the board. So obviously it's a map of the U.S. broken up into the 50 states with Alaska and Hawaii being down here. And those states are divided into four different regions. We have the Northeast, the Midwest, the West, and the South. Also, for each of us, we have our campaign strategy uh, area where we're going to be playing cards at the end of each of the seven regular rounds. We have our rest area, i.e. our cup of coffee. This is where we're going to be placing cubes out here uh, to then later on go into the political bag, which those are already seated with 10 of each of both of our uh, support cubes. So you can see I'm going to be blue. So Kennedy, blue, blue support cubes, red, Nixon, red support mm -hmm. cubes. I've already gone over the turn track and the phase track. Each of the four regions also has an endorsement area as well as a media area. So where Amanda's pointing up there is the Midwest. We have the Northeast, we have the South, and we have the West. We also have the issues track, and this is the order. This is uh, the first 
place issue, second place, third place, and these come preceded based on where the board says. So we have defense first, we have economy second, civil rights being third. And then finally, at the very top, we have the persistent events area. So any cards that we play that have persistent events are going to go into their respective areas. The prevention events, which will prevent certain events being played. We have debate events, and then we have election day events. So debate events will come into play here. Election day events will come into play there. So then we have kind of the anatomy of the cards. So I did mention that this is a CDG. So this is an example of one of the cards that is going to come into play. So first off, you have the card name at the very top, and then it has its CP or its, its, com its campaign points. I'll probably call that command value because mm -hmm. card-driven games or CDGs tend to follow this same thing to where you have the CPs, uh, so the command point or the campaign points, you have the event down here. Usually you're going to be able to play for one or the other. This also shows any rests. So this one says you're going to gain two rest cubes. They range from zero to four. Then we have the debate icon down here in the bottom left. We also have the candidate icon next to that. And then the state selector, which we'll explain here in a little bit. Okay, cool. So that and all the cards have the same back like that. So that is the basic cards there. So the best way, as usual, that I know how to teach this game is to kind of go through how the game works as far as how a round works. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about how the first five, the seventh, and the eighth round work. Then we'll briefly go over the debates, briefly go over the campaign day, and then we'll actually begin, and then we'll cover these more in depth when we get to yes. them. Okay. So we're going to be talking about the first five, the seventh, and the eighth round, or turn, sorry. And each of those follow the same sequence of play. So there's an initiative phase followed by an activity phase, and the activity phases are down here. Then uh, there's a momentum phase and then the campaign strategy and rest phase. Okay, so let's go through what those are. So first and foremost, there's an initiative phase. So we're going to deal out however many cards it says right here. So six cards here, seven cards there. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to reach into the bag and we're going to pull out three, maximum of three cubes, one at a time though. So it's going to be one. And then once we reach two of the same, okay, so we now have two of the same, so that means Kennedy, i.e. me, would get initiative, mm -hmm. which means I get to dictate whether or not Amanda or Nixon is going to play first during the five card plays or whether I will, mm -hmm. all right? So then we move into the activity phase, and the activity phase gives you three options when you play a card. So we're going to go over here. So you have three options when you play the card. First off, you can play the card for the event. And we're just going to cover that first. So if you play the card as an event, you're going to read the text aloud and carry out the event. And then this card is permanently out of the game. It is not discarded. It is removed from the game. All right. It is possible that there may be three different types of events in this. As we mentioned earlier, there's a prevention event, which then... the these events will then go into those when we play the events and those are going to be persistent uh, for, okay, it's going to prevent something mm -hmm. from happening. Then there is the debate event and the debate event will take place when we the have debate the debate. Game. And then last but not least, there is the election day event, which will take place over the election day. All right. There's also gathering momentum cards and there's one for each region. So if you play it for the event, you just do exactly what it says. It's pretty simple, okay? And then just to give other examples, some are wordier than others, so on and so forth. So playing the card for the event, you read what this is out aloud. We're actually going to play it here to this camera so everybody can follow along what's going on with that. And then it's removed from the game. So that is playing a card for the event. Any questions on that? No. All right, the second option is you can play it for the CP or the campaign points. So in lieu of playing it for the event, if I played this card, I could then play it for the four CP or for the four command point or campaign points. Again, I'm gonna interchange those throughout the entire thing. So when you play it for campaign points, you then have 
three options in which you can use it. And you cannot switch between the three options. So the first one, and is going to be the most commonly used one, is playing it for as a campaign action, okay? So if I have four campaign points, I have four points to spend. Within that, campaigning. So I can increase state support. That's gonna be putting more cubes out here on the board in the various states, or moving the candidate tokens. Which, real quick, let me do it in a side. So the candidate tokens, I start in Massachusetts as Kennedy, Amanda starts in California as Nixon. However, we also have, for our copy, we have dead Kennedy, which I realize is three years too early, his eyes look dead, and we have Nixon here, all right? We normally use these, they don't show up real well on camera, so we're not using them, but just thought we'd mention mm -hmm. it. All right, cool, so we'll move those out. So, campaigning, let's go over that real quick, okay? All right, so campaigning in states, here's what you can do. So adding state support cubes to any state in the current occupied region and you, one campaign point per added cube. So for instance, if I'm played that card that is four CP, I'm currently in the Northeast. I can freely add up to four campaign cubes into any state up there, okay? that either doesn't have any command points or any, I'm sorry, any support cubes of my opponent or has support cubes of just me, mm -hmm. okay? So for instance, the only two that I could not do freely is Vermont and New Hampshire to start because Nixon has support cubes there already, right. okay? At this point, let me explain the difference between leading a state and carrying a state. If a player is leading a state, that means at the end of the game, they're going to get the electoral votes. So they're going to get the number, so here in Colorado, these six electoral votes that they would get. So right now, Dix, or Nixon would get six campaign or electoral votes mm -hmm. for that because he is carrying it, or she is carrying it, as it were. However, there's also, le I'm sorry, there's carrying a state in which uh, Meaning, if a player has four or more support cubes in a given state, that means they are carrying the state. At that point, a player must do support checks to be able to campaign in that state, to be able to put cubes, support cubes, into that state. Any questions on that? So, I can place support cubes, one per CP, mm -hmm. okay? to be Now, no player can have... There can never be more than one color of support cube in a state at any given time. Right. So I could spend one CP to boot Amanda out of Vermont. That's one CP. And then I could spend another CP to maybe add one to Vermont. Then I could add one for Pennsylvania, or maybe I add a second one to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. That would be my four CP. Right. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. The other option that I could do is I can move my candidate to a different region. So you'll notice I'm in the Northeast. I can freely place support cubes anywhere in the Northeast there. However, if I wish to move to a different region, anytime I cross one of these dark black borders, I'm going to spend one CP. So I could spend some CP here. And when you put support tokens, you actually move your candidate token to the most recently placed CP area or state. Then if I wanna come down here to the South, I could come down here to Texas and then that would cost me one CP, and then you know maybe I go two, three, four there. Or maybe I go two, three, and then I move, move. out here to Nevada, right. something like that. That makes sense? Right, and you don't have to like, like you don't have to go to the one, to the state directly. Right, it's next just to crossing wherever. the region. Yeah. And once you're in that region, you can freely go to any state in there. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Let's talk about support checks real quick. If I chose, so on my turn, I have four CP. I go one, two CP that I've spent. I now want to go ahead and campaign here in Kansas. Don't ask me why I would, but maybe I choose to, all right? So Amanda is currently carrying that state because she has at least four cubes in there. So in that case, I have to declare how many CP I'm going to spend to try and weaken her hold here on Kansas. Mm -hmm. So I say, okay, I have two CP left. 
I could choose to do one, let's say I choose to do two. I would then draw into the bag and I would draw that many CP, so or so that one cube, cubes? so two cubes. There you go. For every color that I draw for mine, I get to remove two. Alas, I drew hers. Bad news for me, I don't get to remove any. Draw better. And that's why I wouldn't let Amanda draw for me. Duh. Okay, does that make sense? <laughs> Okay, uh -huh. so that's how a support check works. And really any, simple. Any cubes that come out of the draw bag, do they go back into the draw no. bag? No, any, any cubes, they immediately go back into the general supply. All right? right, cool. So that is one option. When you play the card for CP, it's campaigning. So campaign wherever you are in that region, cost one to cross, and support checks. Mm -hmm. That clear? It Good. Is. The second option is advertising or media. Players perform one support check per CP that they spend. And again, you can either campaign, you can either advertise media, or you can work on issues. Those are the only three things that you can do and you cannot do it between them. So it's either all campaigning, all media, or all issues. Mm -hmm. So for media, if I had four CP going back to that same card, I would then draw four CP or four cubes out of the bag and every success means I get to place one media support cube and can be placed in any region's advertising box out here and we'll explain why you're going to want to have media here in a little bit that makes sense it does all right the last thing you can do is influence issues so that's going to be placing cubes out here on the issues themselves so you can add issue support cubes to any issue the first cube on a given action costs one cp so for instance, for each issue, I could spend one, two, three CP to do that because right. that's different issues. Mm -hmm. However, if I chose to do one and then I want to add a second onto defense, it will cost me two CP. So that would be one, two, three, mm -hmm. and then maybe I go four like right. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then on a subsequent turn, I then choose to play my CP as issues. I then could do one because it's a different action. So that would only cost me one. Mm -hmm. And then I could go, that would be two, that would be three, and I would forfeit the fourth one because mm -hmm. it would cost me two more CP to place out there. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. However, let me have a cube, Amanda, please. If Amanda has some out here, it will cost me one CP to remove that one, and then it would cost me two CP to do that because that would be the second, second action. cube that mm -hmm. I put out there, right. so to speak. Again, you can never have more than one player's cubes out there at a given time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. In addition to this, if I played the card for the CP, so going back to this example, if I chose to play it as the CP, at the end of my using the campaign points. If Amanda wished to play the event, she can do so. Mm -hmm. To do so, she would spend one of her momentum markers, mm -hmm. okay? So she would discard, we both start with two, she would discard that. However, if I didn't want her to be able to, mm -hmm. I then could spend two to prevent her from being able to play the event. Yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And if the event is triggered, well, it's the card's out of the game because the event was triggered. If it's played for the CP, it is not removed from the game. Does that make sense? It does. Just makes sense that you don't want to redo events over and over and over. Correct. Again. All right. The last option, so play it as an event, play it as the CP. The last option, and this is basically once per game unless an event mm -hmm. unlocks it, is you can play your candidate card. So each of us obviously have our own candidate cards, and these when played, will be flip over to their exhausted side, and there are only certain events that allow it to then be flipped back over to be reused. It's five CP. These are the only five CP cards in the game, mm -hmm. and again, they're mostly one-time use. That's correct. Okay, so again, play it as an event, play it as campaign points, or play your candidate mm -hmm. card. That is for the first five, seventh, and eighth rounds, all right? Then after that, after we've all played five cards, we're each going to have one or two cards left in our hand. We're going to go into the momentum phase, 
Okay, so the momentum phase has four steps, but it moves really, really quick. Both players discard half their momentum markers, half uh, rounded down, so how, okay, discard one of those, easy enough. Then you're going to get momentum awards and endorsements based upon the issue support in the following order. So based on who has cubes out here on the various issues. Starting at the bottom, whoever is here will get one momentum marker. Then whoever controls this one will get either a momentum marker or an endorsement card. So we haven't talked about the endorsement cards real quick. So the endorsement cards basically are just little cheaters. So let me show you guys this. So there are two types. There's one for a particular region and there's one that is pick a reason, region. And it says choose a region, place an endorsement marker there. And if your opponent already has one or more there, remove one of them. So, okay, easy enough. We would take one of these endorsement markers and if it's me, I, maybe I choose to put it out here in the west. Okay, and we'll talk about why that matters here in a little bit. So, get a momentum marker, get an endorsement or a momentum marker, and that player must choose which it is, and then they endorse, if they choose the endorsement, that triggers immediately. Mm -hmm. And then whoever has this one gets both, the endorsement and the momentum marker. Okay? Then, each issue is going to have one cube removed from it, i.e. issue support decay, and then the player with the most media support, and this is one of the reasons why you're going to want media support, whoever has media support, the most of it, can swap two adjacent issues on the issue track, meaning, oh, I want to move this issue yeah. up because maybe I have more cubes on it, etc., etc., or could swap these two. You cannot swap those two because they are not adjacent. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? It does. Cool. The other thing that media control does is it means you do not have to do support checks in that region. Right. One other thing I failed to mention is if you try to campaign where another candidate is, so for instance, if I come out here to California, even though Amanda is not carrying this state, I still have to do support checks because, because I'm there. you're currently there. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. And get back up to mass. There we go. So that's the momentum phase. Any questions on that one? No. All right, cool. Next, campaign strategy and rest. This one's pretty simple. We're each going to have one card left over or two cards left over. At this point, we discard it face down onto our campaign strategy area. However, it's really, really important to note that there are four cards in the deck that are not allowed to be used for that. And those are gathering momentum cards and this card cannot be played during the campaign strategy phase, i.e. you can't save that card to put it here. If you did, guess what? Discard it. You failed. So you don't get to put one here, and that's going to significantly impair you when it comes to the election later yes. on. Then last but not least, there is the rest phase, which is both players take all their accumulated rest cubes and throw them into the bag. Mm -hmm. So again... Getting back to this, and I want to show some examples of these. Right here. So, very first thing that we're going to do when we play a card, whether you play it for the CP or for the event, is you're going to gain however many rest cubes that it says, which means they come from the supply and go onto your there. Okay. Because now, when we, after at the very end, we're going to take all these, throw them into the bag, and you want cubes in the bag because that's going to significantly help you yes. because for support checks, initiative, et cetera, et cetera. So that covers seven of the nine rounds. Any questions on that? No. Nope. All right. So briefly, I'm going to go over the debates. So after the fifth round, we rest, we go into the debates. This is the only time that this board is used over there. And let's go through this real quick. So we're going to determine initiative just like normal, draw one cube at a time, first one to get two. It's important to note the winner has initiative for the duration of the debates, and that's going to be a tiebreaker. That is very, very important. So you're going to want initiative on this. So you want a lot of cubes in the bag to help you with that. Then we're going to go into campaign strategy. You're going to grab the five cards that we've discarded there, because there, or set aside, I should say. And then we're going to set the stage. We're going to place the debate board over here, which is already done. Then the three issues onto their correspondence corresponding positions on the debate board. So you'll notice this has first, second, and third. So first would go there, second there, third there. That's going to be very important. Then we have the debate. Both players are going to play one card 
put it face down and simultaneously reveal it. Place the card next to the corresponding issue on the side of the debate according to the candidate icon on it. So again, for instance, if this got saved, this is going to go onto the blue side, i.e. onto my side, onto wherever the economy is out here. And as the board is set up currently, this is how it would be. It actually needs to be flipped because I'm red. Oh, okay. So this will be upside down and backwards. So we'll, we'll be reading uh, right or right to left, but so be it. So this would go onto the economy side because it has the donkey icon and its economy. This is going to score, be worth two value. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that for all five cards. If at any point either side has two on the same issue, so for instance, there's a second economy card that is on my side, which of course I don't have any, but let's say there were, where that issue immediately gets resolved. We're going to count up the total number of CP that are on a given side. So right now it would be six to zero. Well, I would claim this. This would come over here and I would immediately get two support cubes on any state of my choice. And then any other economy cards that are out here get discarded because the economy's already been right. won in the debate. And we would do that for all five cards and trigger those immediately once two cards is on one side. It's possible that I have two low value and Amanda has one high value and she wins that. Mm -hmm. Ties would go to whoever has the initiative. Two, three, and four support cubes would be placed out mm -hmm. here of your choice, ig ignoring uh, support checks. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then after that, discard all these cards and we these will then come back into their given spaces or they will have already come out here we move the board that's that that's yep. debates any question on that no all right and obviously any debate events would come into play right. for that as well then going to the very end we're going into election day so election day follows as such at the end of the eighth round and note that we're going to be placing two cards each round over into our campaign strategy after the debates because we will have each had seven cards. So here we go. We're going to deposit bonus cubes. So any media and issue support cubes. So any cubes that we have here and any media cubes that we have here are gonna go into the bag. Then we're going to exchange any momentum markers that we have left and those are each going to get us two more cubes go into the bag. Then we're gonna determine initiative just like normal which winner has initiative. Again, tiebreaker mm -hmm. is good. Then campaign strategy. Each player is going to take their four cards from their stack and each player gets three support checks in the four states indicated by each card. Okay, so again, going back to this. So if I had saved this card, I would then get four support checks. I'm sorry, three support checks in Pennsylvania because I saved the Pennsylvania card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to help swing those last minute votes in those states. Does that make it sense? Does. Okay. The player with initiative resolves all their cards first. Okay, so the player without initiative gets last legs mm -hmm. though. Okay. <clears throat> then election day events, any events that are there, we're going to follow those out. And then endorsements in undecided voters. Undecided states, i.e. states with no cubes on it. So this would be worth four votes or four electoral votes. Those will tip towards the player who has endorsement markers in that state's region. So that's why we're going to want to put endorsements mm -hmm. out here because you will win ties on anything that doesn't have support cubes in it. However, failing that, if nobody has endorsement markers out here, states have a tendency to lean towards a certain candidate. So New Mexico would lean towards me, whereas Idaho would lean towards Amanda or Nixon. Then we're gonna add, we'll add one support cube into that to show that I control it even though I didn't. Right. Because then we're going to grab all the seals. So on the back sides of these, it shows what state it is and how many electoral votes it is. And we're gonna add them all up and hopefully somebody gets to 269 because there are 537 total between the 50 states. And if nobody gets to 269, we'll go into the tiebreaker and that's that. And that right there is 1960, yep. the making of the president. So that said, we're gonna go ahead and reset. We'll shuffle, we'll do all that. 
Okay. Well, all right. Radio. So uh, let's reset, and there we go. We will bring everything up. Hi, everybody. What's up, y'all? All right. So if we can reset the board. Uh, done. <laughs> Yeah, that really is all yeah. we did, isn't it? <laughs> all right, we have that. We need to shuffle up. Oh, we need to get all of okay. these in. And shuffle the endorsements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need to take a second. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And actually, if you guys will give us about three, four minutes, we're going to take a quick little break. And we will be right back. We will shuffle that and we will get set up for everything. You guys don't need to see the decks of cards. No, We're good. good. All right. So give us about three minutes and we will be right back. Place your bets in the meantime. All right, y'all.
All right, we're back. You all ready to do this? You yeah. ready to do this? Yes. Ash is killing us today. Yeah. Just leave it at that. All right, so here we go. All right, so deal out five cards to each player. Six. Sorry, six. It says so right here. All right. So, unfortunately, you guys are not going to be able to see all of our cards. We have them down here in front of us. Apologies on that. So, Amanda, don't forget you're going to be setting one of your cards aside mm -hmm. for the debate later. So, it's going to be an issue. And, oh, there is one other little thing, and I'll actually show you guys this also. When it comes to the debate, if we've set aside a, a one that has both icons on it like this, you then can choose which side to play it on, whether it's, you know, if it's a low value, you know, mm -hmm. put it on the other, et cetera, et cetera. All right, cool. So Amanda, there are 10 cubes in the bag of each of us. So go ahead, draw one at a time. Kennedy. Kennedy. Right, Kennedy. So let me look at my cards here. Let's go back decide. in, yeah? Yeah, oh, no, no they, nope, just, okay. they're out. When they're drawn, they are out of the bag. Okay. Um... Oh, those should have been shuffled in, too. too. Yep. Thanks, oh, good Andrew. Call. Yep. Good Sorry, call, we guys. had a bit of a thing. Yep. All right. Actually, we're going to take that off camera for right now because it doesn't come into play yet. Um, you can go ahead and go first. Okay. All right. So we are on turn one. And initiative's done, and now we go into the activity phases. So, Amanda, you're up first. Okay, let me study my cards for a second. Yeah, sorry about the break, guys. Asher happened. All right. I like the, uh, the fact that they used uh, period pictures for mm -hmm. all of this, and I yep. know some people were upset on the GMT box. Uh, that oh speaking of which before we get started really I should note that we are playing the Z-Man edition as you can see behind me the Z-Man edition had we're playing with the Z-Man rules mm -hmm. the GMT version did change a handful of rules and added a handful of cards as well so we are playing with the Z-Man rules so just be aware of that there it's from what I've gathered from reading you can play the GMT rules with this uh, with this edition, but from what I've also heard, the GMT rules actually makes it a better game to where media is used more. Neither here nor there. This is the copy we have. This is right. the copy we're going to right. play. All right, cool. Okay, so I am going to play this card. So you want to, you're going to yep. put it yep. up, right? So playing it for the command or the CP? The, or, playing I'm sorry. it for the event. For the event. All right, so here we go. Puerto Rican bishops. So I'll read it. So first and foremost, Amanda is going to gain the rescue. And you know what? Now I'm paranoid real quick. Now I want to make sure that regardless, uh, you're going to get the rest cubes no matter what. And it, I, uh, there you go. Reminder, do not forget to take your rest cubes. It's a good idea to get in the habit of taking them as soon as you play a card before resolving its effects. Mm -hmm. So even though she's playing it for the event, she still is going to get a rescue. So she's going to gain one rescue. You guys will see that in a little bit. So here we go. The Kennedy player may not expend momentum markers for the remainder of this turn. And this event also prevented, uh, it's prevented by the Greater Houston Ministerial Association event. So what does that mean? That means, well, I can't use my momentum markers at all for the rest of this. So I'm going to actually place this here in front of me. I'm probably going to forget, you know what? We'll put it right here. So this will be my reminder that I cannot spend those, those there, you go. there. Okay? So there's the event. This will come out of play or be out of the game mm -hmm. uh, at the end of uh, this round. Okay? Or That's at the correct. end of this uh, turn. turn. Uh, hmm. All right. So looking around here. New York's worth a whole lot of uh, electoral votes. And 
I'm reading through my cards real quick. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and play Stevenson Loyalist. So I'm going to play it for the CP. So the event, though, is good for Amanda. It would, says I cannot spend any CP on campaign actions in the Western Midwest. So I cannot spend momentum markers, so I can't prevent her from mm -hmm. doing this. She can, at the end of me using my CP, can spend one momentum worker to trigger that event if she wishes. All right, so instead I'm going to use it for the two CP, and I am going to campaign and also it did say I get two rest cubes so I have two in there Amanda has one in hers those will go into the bag at the end of the round or at the end of the turn and I'm going to just simply campaign in New York that's one CP that's two CP because I'm already in the region and, and I move that. into New York that's the end of that we go into phase two now and this will actually get discarded and if this deck ever runs out, we will then shuffle up the discards. The events that are out of play, however, are out, are out and do not get shuffled back in. Okay, cool. All right. I am going to play this card for the CP. I gain zero rest cubes. Okay, it's so playing four. it for the CP. So there, there's Ike. Mm -hmm. And so four CP and Nixon player loses two momentum markers and must subtract one issue support in each issue. I could, in theory, spend one momentum marker to do it, but this prevents me, last. so I can't do it. So this will go into the discard. Amanda gets four CP. Go for and it. And they are all going to go in California. Okay. California is, I think, the second biggest state. We have New York, number one, and it's we have Pennsylvania. Tied, yeah, it's tied with yeah. Pennsylvania. So... Important to note, this isn't going to be super high level play. This isn't going to be expert play. So we're probably going to do some stupid stuff. So just be aware of that and judge accordingly. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm debating what to use. So I'm going to play a new frontier. I'm going to play it as the command points. So I get two rest cubes first. There. Um, I could do that. As you see, I elect not to. So instead, of just two CP. And I think I'm going to actually influence some of the... Let me look. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and use it for the the issues. So that's two CP. So I'm going to go one on civil rights, and I will go one on defense. Done. So that's one, and it would have cost me a total of three CP to put mm -hmm. a second one there, because the second right, every one after the first cost Correct. two. So there you go. Done. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So is anybody counting how many went for Amanda and how many went for uh, Kennedy? You know. The guy who won? Just saying. Both Ian Cows went, Amanda. Andrew Brown says, I'm not a crook. All right. And Dave says, the memories this game triggers. I bet. Um, it, this was 15 years pre-me. Yeah, 20 hey, years pre-me. All right, I'm going to play uh, Joe Kennedy for the CP. Okay. I gain one rescue. Nixon player may not expend momentum markers for the remainder of this turn. Well... Can't, I can't trigger it. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, you get one and three CP, man. Mm -hmm. Is that helping, guys, being able to see the card and know what it is, see it up close, and then uh, see it in play? Let's see. Okay. I am going to place two in Kansas and one in Nebraska. So, I will head to Nebraska. Okay, so you technically placed them in Kansas and then went into mm -hmm. Nebraska and ended her action. Okay. Correct. There you go, Pierre. I like that. <laughs> Todd, popular votes with Amanda, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's all that, about electoral. That is correct. Um, so what I'm thinking right now, what I'm looking at is what do I want to save? I th oh, I really, mm, this is really a tough card. Um, or a tough decision on what I want to save. Uh, 
So what I'm what I'm debating when I'm looking at my cards is what the issue is because again this is going to be for the debates for these mm -hmm. right so it's going to be what is the issue who gets it and how many command points they are but also I'm going to be locking that card up all the way through turn six so if we go through those card uh, we actually won't no, so no it way. should be. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play this for the CP. This is going to be Peace Without Surrender. So I gain two rest cubes. In there. And so defense could move up one space on the issue track. It's already maxed out. And Nixon could gain an issue support in defense if Amanda wanted to spend a momentum marker, which she'll decide at the end of me taking these actions. So two CP. So I'm going to use those to campaign. And... So where is this one? Is this all, that's not that's, New York? Is that in, in Jersey? No, where is it? Oh no, it should be in Massachusetts. Yeah, there we go. Not, right, that's not. where it started. Yeah. Um, so anywhere you see one donkey or two or two elephants, that showed that's just for starting value on how many started there. So looking at this, we're going to go ahead and spend my two CP. I'm going to spend. We're going to go one. Actually, we're going to go both into Pennsylvania here. Done. That's both of my CP, and I move there. Done. Okay. Oh, sorry. That. Uh, so that was actually... No, we're good. Now mm -hmm. it moves. We're good. All right. Um, here's oh, and my that card. Every, people are liking Okay, that. good. Cool. So I All gained right. two res cubes. I'm okay, playing and what it you, for the CP. Encourage. The remainder of the turn, Kennedy player may redraw any failed support checks. Each failed check may only be redrawn one. Oh, wow. That's really awesome. Nice. Too bad. Okay, so I'm going to play... That was smart to lock down my momentum markers. I know. I know. Yeah. And, you know, and what I did was I used one of my possible debate cards to do it because it's so important. Hmm. Okay. All right. So that's 2CP. Go two ahead. 2CP. So issues. I'm going to place one on economy okay. and remove... Yep. Defense. There we go. And that goes back into... Your pool. There we go. Cool. All right. Um, so I'm debating which of those to keep. So I'm not going to keep this. Uh, all right. So I'm going to play this for the event, which means I know which card I'm keeping. So I'm playing Northern Blacks, so I gain one rescue. So ignore the CP, and I'm playing it for the event. So the leader in civil rights, i.e. Kennedy right now, may add a total of five state support in Illinois, Michigan, and New York, but no more than two per state. Nice. All right. So, so because I'm leading in civil rights, so I get five cubes, no more than two and it's Illinois, Michigan, and New York. So we'll go two in Michigan. One. Okay, the one in Illinois is That's Indiana. That. Is it? I'm sorry. Illinois is, is here. It is. I'm, I'm an idiot. So yeah. I'm going to go two in Illinois, and I'm going to go one into New York. There we go. Boom, done. And because I played this for the event, it's out of the game. There we go. Okay, let's see. Hey, Eric. Thanks for hanging out, and or at least dropping by, and happy 4th. <laughs> Mira says it, it triggers me to want to watch all seasons of The West Wing. <laughs> Didn't you say that The West Wing was good for a few years, and then it went south? It was south? good until Aaron Sorkin left. Um, Which season did he finish? Four? So the first four seasons were good? Amazing. Best, best show on TV. Better than The Wire. Yes. Hold on. Yes. That's them there's fighting words. I haven't seen the West Wing. Now I'm going to have to watch the yeah. West Wing so I can fight you. Yes. Yes. Properly. Yes. Because the, the Wire is the best show ever. A guy that just started at work looks just like Avon Marksdale. <clears throat> so on that note, and I it, did say to go up behind him and just whisper, Omar be coming. Yo. Or whisper uh, or whistle for him in the Dell as I right, walk by. It, Please. Once, once I know him better. Absolutely. Because that's really funny. That's. 
Omar be coming, yo? Omar be coming, yo. All right, yo. here we go. All right, I'm gonna, Can air. I'm gonna play it for the CP. Okay. Get two rest cubes. And what? What? This is gross. <laughs> All I right. obviously need to draw better. Economy okay. and defense. All right, and that only cost her one because it's a separate uh, turn. So ergo, she can do that. Correct. Oh, hold on, and we're actually there now. Okay. You know, y you should just hush, Matias, because you're wrong. And thank you, Rob. Thank you, Tony. You see? All right. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> exactly. LemonLemon.com. All right. So, okay. So we're thinking out loud here. And so this is going to hurt me by thinking out loud. But I was trying... La, 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 la. Yeah, I was trying to save this card, hoping Amanda would spend some of her momentum markers to not spend them on the worst card in the deck for me. Alas, she did not. Unpledged electors. So I get zero rest cubes. I get four CP, but it's an election day event. And on election day, if Kennedy wins Alabama, Louisiana, or Mississippi with less than four state support, the electoral votes for these states are not awarded to either player, i.e. they do not help me, but they also cannot hurt her. So they're null votes is what they would be, and it's up to her. So she's currently eyeing those three states, which is all me right now, but I have to have them with at least four state mm. support. So she has to decide after I spend my four CP what to do with that. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here and let her decide. So for my four CP, um, we're going to go ahead and... I, yeah, I need I need to put votes out. I really want to do the issues, but I need the support uh, the votes. So it would be Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana. So it's these three down here. So that's only a total of that's a 29 lot. Twenty nine electoral lot. votes, and I'm already in good shape there. So I think I think we're going to go ahead and throw one in New York. We're going to throw two in Pennsylvania. And let's go ahead and throw uh, another home here in Mass. So we'll say that I, no, we'll say that I ended up in Massachusetts. It's fine because now you have to do support checks in both of those yeah. either way. So I am done. Okay. We're actually there now. And I. So are you going to do the event? Well, see, the thing is, this is the very first round, and there's a lot of cards. There are. And I highly doubt that there's only one Election Day event in there. Oh, there's there's more than one, but I, this is specifically called out in the rule book for the unpledged electors because of this specific thing. I'm not saying it's the worst one in the right. deck. I did, but that yeah, one yeah. sucks for me for those states because that is 29 votes. So, your choice, yes or no? And it's, it would be two. It would only be one to, to trigger. Oh, yeah, it's two to block. You're going to lose one of those anyways? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so this will go into the election day events, and that will hang out there until election day. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we go into the momentum phase, and both players discard half of their momentum markers, rounding down. So this is now out of the game as well, so I'm going to lose one of those. Uh, then... Uh, players earn rewards, uh, momentum, and or endorsements for leading issues. So here we go. So I lead this one, so I either could get a momentum marker or uh, I forget. No, I think it's just the, I, I'm having to double check this. Give me a minute, guys. There we go. Momentum. Uh, third place, I get a momentum marker, so I don't have a choice. So that will go there. Then, who's ever leading here gets their choice. Do you want a momentum marker or an endorsement card? And endorsements, remember, help you win ties for the un, for regions that have zero. And you can place it wherever In, the, card, the yeah, endorsement says. Yeah, I think I'm going to take an endorsement. Okay, and the endorsement says it's a major endorsement. So that means, sorry guys, there we go. Choose any region, place an endorsement marker there. Nobody has any, so we don't need to worry about it. So... Hmm. 
and go ahead and try to tie up the West as much as possible. Okay, so Amanda now has an endorsement there, and now for the first place one, she gets a momentum marker and an endorsement. And she gets an endorsement in the South. There we go. So that is the momentum there. Then there's issue support. Remove one support cube, if any, from every issue. So there and there, go back into your supply. Mm -hmm. That goes there. And then the player with the most media support, which nobody does mm -hmm. right now, can then swap to adjacent. Nobody has media, ergo, nobody has it. So Correct. that's the end of momentum. Moving into campaign strategy in rest. Both players take their one card that they saved in here. Why don't we do this? Um, I'm, don't look. So that is mine that's going in there. Okay, so it's worth this value. It's going to be for that issue, and it goes to that side when we get to the debate. Okay, cool. And so, then you're just going to so flip that, my card over. Right. I'm just, let me get this centered so you guys can see it. I'm not going to look. Can they see that? Yes. Okay, good. And back there, so that will go there. And then our rest cubes, all of these go into the bag. And because I don't trust you, I will put my own in the bag. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, shuffle them up. All right, so that's the end of the first turn. So we go into turn two and back there. All right, so deal out six cards. So are you guys able to follow along now that you've seen one full round? Does this make sense? Hmm. All right. So, Amanda, if you will draw for initiative, please. Do you want do you want to do it? Oh, sure. We'll alternate. All right. So. Okay. So, we have one for Kennedy. I'm hoping for a Nixon. Nope. All right. So, Kennedy. Um All right. Here you go. So, Yeah, yeah. I'll go second. It is your honor, ma'am. Go ahead. Right, I shall play Gathering oh, Momentum. Oh, chat down. Thanks. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Repeat. Chat down. Repeat. Hopefully it sticks. <laughs> Ten four. Niner. Okay. Did I catch a niner I, in there? Yeah, you're right. always saying niner. I know. I know. All right. So there is our first Gathering Momentum card. Okay. Whichever okay. player is leading more states in the West gains one momentum marker plus one state support in each Western state currently having no support for either candidate. I'm the only one in the West, so I shall take... So you're playing it for the event. I you am. You gain zero cubes. So, all right. So whichever player is leading more states in the West, that's definitely you, gains one momentum marker, which you already did, mm -hmm. place one state support in every state with... Oh, good draw. Thanks. That's out of the game, thank God. Bloop. Bloop. Wow. Bloop. 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 Wow. Okay. Um... All right, so I'm going to play my brother, Bobby Kennedy. I'm going to play this for the event. So that's two rest cubes, first and foremost. And then the Kennedy player gains one CP to all cards played for the remainder of the turn to a maximum nice. of five CP. Okay, so I'm going to actually just put that right there as a reminder. Done. Hmm. Dan, I'm British. It's going right over my head. <laughs> all right, fair enough. It's area majority. Think of it that way. Yeah, that's, way. Real, that's all, right. all it is. Oh, uh, good call, Daniel. Yep, we got it. So one more here and here also because oh, those are technically right. West. Good call, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, good catch. Uh, something to note, you do have to travel... You can only travel from the west to Alaska and Hawaii, but notice the black border, so it would cost one to move there, one CP. Good catch, guys.
Total number of cubes limited. I don't know the answer to that. I've never That's a seen, lot of cubes. I, I've never seen it be an issue. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, so we're in two. Yeah. Two. Okay. All right. I'm going to play Baptist Ministries. Yeah, we figured that was going to happen, Tony. Yeah. All right. Baptist Ministries. What, all right. I'm playing it for the event. The Nixon player may subtract a total of five state support from Kennedy in the South or Midwest, no more than two per state. Boy, I really needed the Greater Houston Ministerial Association, Association which, yeah. Um, all right, so a total of five support, max of two in the South or Midwest, a max of five. And this is going away. Did you get your rest cube? I did. You did. Okay, so Midwest. In South, a total of five, max of two. So, well, there's a max of two in any of them. So there you mm -hmm. go. Five of them, please, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> North Carolina, Illinois, and both Michigan. Out, of, out of Michigan. My, my, my born state. So yep. that's four. Whew. Illinois. Okay, there's five. Golly, you suck. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Tony says the soundtrack to Hamilton is on quietly in the background. Nice. Uh, we are ungrateful colonials. Sorry about that. Right. I really drew terribly this round. Um, Yeah, okay. So I'm going to play... Am I? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume that you can look at your own campaign strategy that you've set aside for your own. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead... Golly. Yep, I'm going to play The Trial of Gary Powers. I gain one rest cube. Um, I'm not going to play it for the event. I'm going to play it for the three CP. And oh, it's actually four CP because of Bobby uh, Kennedy right, card. Right. So that's four CP. Um, Let's go campaigning. So four CP. Uh, are you going to? Well, you don't have to announce that yet. So four CP. So we're going to go ahead and add. No, we're not. We're yeah. We'll add one to Jersey. We'll add one to Maryland. We'll add one to West Virginia. And we'll add a third one to the great state. Of Massachusetts, done. So it's our, wicked awesome. It, it, wicked cool. Wicked cool. All right. So defense. Do you wish to? Um, the leader in defense. One. Nobody has it, no. so you're not going to. Yeah. So that was my four done. So we are now moving into the third. All right. I'm going to do voter registration drive for the event. Okay. So for the event, so we have voter registration drive, uh, two rest cubes, which Amanda just got. Player may add a total of three state support in states which currently have no support for either player and uh, no more than one per state. Okay, so one per state and a total of three anywhere. Texas, Texas right. right? Michigan, and Ohio. Yep, that makes sense. All right, done. Yay! I did it right. Jessica says, just, uh, just says I did it right, so that's good. Wicked smart. Smart. Yeah. All right, thanks. Uh, <laughs> I'm really... Hold on, don't look real quick. I am really torn. Boy, this is really... There you go. I am really torn on how to use this card. Because remember, I get plus one CP... Okay, 
So really, really torn on that. And the fact that you can't save cards, okay, you can look now. Um, right, that's what I was planning on doing. That's why I wanted to do that. Okay, so that's perfect. Uh, is it? Golly. Um, okay, I'm going to play 50 stars. So I'm going to play it for the CP. So that is two rest cubes into the cup. Um, so that's actually three CP for me. I'm going to use it for the issues track. So this is going to be one to get that off, two, three to put that on. Nice. All right. And Amanda, are you going to trigger the event? Whichever player has more total, that is you. It can add a total of five state support anywhere. No more than one yes. per state. Okay. So you discard one of those. All right. So five total anywhere, no more than one. And remember, adding also counts as me removing. Okay. Texas. Michigan. Ohio. Oh, there you go. Pierre uh, reminded that they are not peace limited, so okay, but cool. we still have a ton. Okay. That is true, Daniel. I'm going to remove one from Pennsylvania and one from New York. Okay. Done. So that was my event. We are into the fourth phase. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks, Pierre. Appreciate that. So are you guys, even if it's going over your head, uh, if you're, you know, from, you know, the... Uh, the, um, old, the old world? Yeah, from the old world there. <laughs> uh, are, are the mechanics making sense and everything? Are you guys able to follow the flow of the game all right? Okay, I'm going to play Gallup Pole for the CP. Okay. All right. So, one rescue player may alter the order of the issues on the issues track as desired. Huh, I could do that. We'll see. So, three CP for Amanda. Okay. Whew. Holy cow, is it hot in here. Yep. All right, I am gonna play for on the issues track. So one on defense, one on civil rights. No shot. Thanks. Okay. Um, you're really aggravating me now. Yes. Okay. I am not going to use it, the event, so that goes there. Okay, I'm going to gamble a little, you know, gambler by nature a little bit. I'm going to play high hopes, going to gain two rest cubes, and let's gamble a little. So I'm going to play it as the event. Reveal the top two cards one at a time. So here, hold on. So the top two cards, here you go, of the deck from the campaign deck one at a time. Events on cards featuring the Kennedy icon take effect in the order revealed as if the Kennedy player had played it. Okay. So... This card is out of the game now. Looking for an elephant, or I'm sorry, a donkey. That sucks. That goes away, so that's just discarded. Oh. That's why you shouldn't gamble. That sucks. Well, that's wasted, done. So we go into the fifth and final card. going to play this for the CP, the new Nixon. As opposed to the, the old, old one. Nixon. All right. Gain two rest cubes. Got them. Okay. And two CP. Yeah, obviously should shuffle better. For the record, Amanda shuffled. Just saying. 
tricky dick over there. You got you got to watch. Blar blar blar. Um, second. Oh, that's cool, Emma. Good call. That'd be a good way to do that. Okay. All right. I am going to... By the way, um, while Amanda is debating here, this player aid uh, we found on BGG, I, I, don't, and I don't see the creator of yeah, it as credited. Um, it looks like it possibly could be by whoever made the game. Maybe, I'm not sure, but nonetheless, uh, I can't remember where we found this, but really good. This is really, really helpful. And there's another one out there that kind of has a step-by-step uh, -step for everything that is really good. The first page looks like this. Um, highly recommended. Uh, again, this is based on the original rules, though, so not for the GMT, okay? All right, I'm going to... Place one in economy. That's it. So, because you had two CP, two CP, so the second one. No, you could add one to those oh, if you want. Because remember, it's a new action. Yeah, I'll do defense. Okay. Um. All right. All right. So it's time to bring out the gaff. Opponent loses one momentum marker and three state support in the state currently occupied by their candidate token, if. Amanda was still in Cali, I would be playing it for that. But alas, it's Nebraska. There's a reason it's called a flyover state. Yeah. All the corn. So, zero rest cubes and five CP. So, five but, CP. Well, no, not a few. Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't play it for the event. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to have to punt on... The issues, so we're going to campaign. So, five. I'm going to get four cubes. One, two, three, four, coming across into this region. And actually, we'll go ahead and go to North Kakalaki. Five. Done. All right. All right. So now we go into the momentum phase. Uh, both players discard half their momentum markers. Round it down. And how many did you discard? Just one. Okay. Uh, then she's going to get a momentum marker. Your choice, momentum marker or an endorsement. Endorsement. Okay. It's another major endorsement, so she can add an endorsement marker anywhere. East. Okay, and now you get one of each. One of each. And the other endorsement marker is here in the west. Okay. All right, so that's done. Then issue decay one, one, and one all go back. And whoever has the most media support. Still nobody. So those stay in the same order. Then we go into the campaign strategy. And here, Amanda, don't look. So this is mine that's going in. So it's worth that value, that issue, and that symbol. There. And here. There. All right. That good? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. And Amanda is placing that one. All right. Uh, then rest. All of these go back into the bag. And we go into round three. Six cards, please, ma'am. Oh, uh, I feel like an idiot. Oh, it is. Yep, it's on the back of the rule book. Okay. Well, anyway, oh, good. I'm a glad really good job. I'm you glad go. people will be able to find it then. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Good. Good deal. Thank you. All right. Uh, cards. Oh, and the Bobby Kennedy card goes away because I played it for the event. Right cards? there. Oh, okay. Thank you. So go ahead and draw. Nixon. All right. 
Your That's option it. now. I'll go second. Okay, so I, so I'm looking at my cards, trying to figure out what I want to save. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bust out Eisenhower's Silence for the event. The Nixon player cannot spend CP on campaign actions in any state being led by Kennedy for the remainder of the turn. It's prevented by Dwight Eisenhower event, and that is not out there. So, Amanda, that is your honor. So if you want to keep that somewhere that you will see. Right. And that was zero rest cubes, right? Yes. Actually, put it on the other side. No, other side. There we go. Okay. All right. Help me remember, just in case. All right. Um. <clears throat> well, I'm going to play um, Citizens for Nixon Lodge for the event. It's the same one you had. Oh, plus one. Yep, gotcha. Okay, cool. Okay. So we're into here. Um. Uh. Mm. Nope, I'm going to save that for later. Save that for later. Yeah, we can go ahead and bust this out. We're going to go ahead and play Henry Luce. So, two rest cubes to start, and you got none for any of yours. Nope. You forgot yours. Oh, I did. First things first, all right? That's right. All right. So, I could do it for the event I like not to, so I'll just do it for the 2CP. So, the 2CP is going to be for campaigning in the South. And... Let's go ahead and get another one in North Carolina. So, actually, I will come down here to Florida first and then come back to North Carolina to campaign. Boom. Done. Okay. I'm gonna play, All right. Have fun, Dave. Take care. I'm going to play Gathering Momentum for the event. Ay vey. You draw so well. All right. So, she gets one. Uh, she gains a momentum marker and one state support in every Midwest that has nothing. Okay. So, that's half of the gaining momentum out of the game now. All right. Kentucky, Illinois... Scanny and Minnesota. Minnesota. All right. Into the third phase. Uh, yeah, go ahead and play stump speech. I could do it to gain three momentum markers. Alas, I will not. Zero rest cubes, four CP instead. So the four CP is going to be, mm, give me a moment. Uh, right, if it's carried. So there's one. There's two, there's three, there's four. Done. Okay. And I'm now in Tejas. Okay. Hey, David, thanks. Appreciate that from a, hope you had a good candidate day. All right, I'm gonna play the Cold War for the event. All right, for the event, the leader in defense, i.e. Amanda, may add a total of five state support anywhere, no more than one per state. So a total of five. Wow, you draw well. 
You shuffled, you're dealing. I'm just saying. Why don't you go ahead I'm and bitter. shuffle and deal? No, no. It's, it makes for a better story this way. Two, oh, I see. three, four. No. Oh, moved. sorry. So, three, four. four. The Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. Really, Jess? Really? Kingdom of Vermont? That's funny. Hey, she does have a maple leaf tattoo. Right. Yeah. And she's from there. She says That's she has thing. to uh, she has to adjust her accent. That's funny. All right. So would placing mean also... Yes. Okay. Uh, to remove... It's, it's not, is it That's from an I'm event? Asking. Is it from an yeah. event? It is. Uh, I need to look that up real quick. A moment on that. Um... Right. For the event, I don't think you have to do a support check uh, for the event. Oh, and I was wrong. Uh, the player announces the preemption of an event right before it's played, right? Before it resolving. Okay, never mind. Um. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Nice tip. You can flip over the state seal for anything that's carried. Meaning, oh. if, oh, okay. Hmm. Um, playing the card as an event. I, I don't see. Yeah, I don't. I, I think you can do that because okay. it's played as an event. Okay. So, okay. Done? Yep. All right. So, moving into round four. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to play Suburban Voters for the event. So I gain a rest cube. So what is this one for? I assume that's there. Oh, from the what you moved. I yeah. it. Kennedy player can add a total of five state support in states having 20 or more electoral votes. No more than two per state. Wow. There's two. So a total of five, three, four, three, four, five. Done. And suburban voters out of the game. Done. <clears throat> they sound like pirates. Nice. Yeah, it's it's ridiculously hot in here, board game trucker, but we're managing. The show must go on. All I right. have an hour until my haircut. All right, so that's him telling me to hurry up. So whenever... <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was subtle. If I want you to not be able to do the event, I play two. Yeah, preemptively, preemptively, yes. So you're discarding two, so I cannot play the event, and the event would be an election day event, uh, game five. Oh, wow. That would have been nice. So Amanda's playing two rest cubes for you, ma'am. And it's three CP. And because it's plus one. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. So you did the event did not trigger. That goes over there. Okay. Yep, exactly. Adding votes either way because there can only be one cube color on a state. So for me, adding cubes here would be removing red. Okay. That makes sense, mm -hmm. Rob. Oh, very nice craft dragon. Two in California. So, uh... I'm not... Is that... That is campaigning, I suppose. Okay. In so the, you're campaigning. Yeah. All right. There. And so, then, and one more. Uh, maybe not packed in ice, but I'm either sitting on ice or it's on my feet. Washington. It, it's moving around. So there's that. All right. Cool. So we are in the fifth and final one. Well, I don't have a choice. Playing the Gathering Momentum in the South. I saved this for my last card play because I wanted to see if Amanda moved any of mine. And you look, there's literally only one state that that would affect, Tennessee. So I'm not going to play it for the event. 
and I cannot save it for the campaign strategy phase. So ergo, zero rest cubes and four CP and yeah, that's fine. Four CP for that. And because it wasn't used as the event, it goes into the discard. We're going issues on this one. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, three, four, right there. Done. Okay. I am going to play Jackie Kennedy for the CP. So that'll be four. Which I cannot play it for the event, remember? Um, Why not? Uh, uh, well, because I only have one momentum well, marker. Well, you wouldn't have been able to, yeah. Right, and doesn't matter. It doesn't so matter. you get your rest cube. Dang it. One job. I know. Three CP. Okay. That's play. four, because I uh, have four. my card. Correct. Yep. And what was Ike? What was the event on Ike? I couldn't spend CP on any state where you led. Okay. And I didn't. Right. Yes, he, uh, he did, and he looked unshaven, Emma, and that's actually why, that's actually why. Yeah, why he has a 5 o'clock shadow. When Tony painted him, he has a 5 o'clock shadow on it, and because during the debate, that actually, the first ever televised debate, that's why it was uh, such a, such a faux pas. And, and Kennedy, he looked tired and Kennedy had an autoimmune condition that made him look tan, and so he didn't, he never had to wear makeup. So Nixon refused to wear makeup to be a man like Kennedy. And that's why you could tell how bad he he looked. He looked awful. He was sweating. He was he very tired. pale. Right, he looked yeah. tired. So anybody that watched the debate said Kennedy won. Anyone that listened to the to the debate said Nixon won. Yep. So interesting how uh, that can happen. Yep. So it's actually four CP. Yep. So one on civil rights. Yep. Two, two three. three. Nope. And that's it. Because it costs two. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, at least you don't bleed in those. Okay, done. All right, we go into momentum. Both players discard half their momentum, rounded down, so Amanda removes hers. And now she gets either, or she gets that momentum back, actually. Nothing, nothing, doesn't matter. Then uh, remove a support cube for each. Nice. And then uh, most media support, you can swap. Nope, nothing. Moving on. Campaign. All right, Amanda, don't look. I am playing this card here for that value there. And Amanda is playing this way. I can flip it over there. Is that clear? Yep. Okay, there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Rest cube into the back bag. Into round four, deal out six cards, please. And I'll do momentum while you do that, or initiative. <laughs> hey, hi, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Not too hot. All right, so there. That's one for Nixon. Ooh, one for First Kennedy. One. And one for Nixon. So Nixon gets to choose. Throw those back in your supply, please. There. No, I'm wrong. Okay. Probably going there. Wow. Oh, those need to go away. Hmm. All right. So, uh, you won initiative. Who is going to play first? Go ahead. Oh. All right. Uh, so I'm playing first. Let's see. Uh, let me see the discard pile real quick, please. By the way, if you guys have not watched, if you have Netflix and you haven't watched the Vietnam War, fascinating. There's so much in there that I didn't know about that that I've learned. Thank you. <clears throat> Wow. 
Okay. Um, yep. I'm going to go ahead and play the Great Seal Bug. And I'm going to play it for the CP. So that's one rest cube for me. Nixon gains an issue support in defense and may retrieve the car, the Henry Cabot Lodge card from the discard pile if it's there. It's it not. Um, so three CP for me. And I am going to go. Yes, Robert, he is. Yes. I think you said that. Uh, so three. Uh, all right, three CP. So let's go ahead and drop two in Tejas. And we'll go ahead and throw one. Uh, yeah, we'll throw one in Tennessee, but we will have come back and done it in Texas. Done. <sighs> really hot yeah I, I i believe you jess how hot is it there in boston stay in the shade y'all hey gear gear ah, here we go again <laughs> um, i did not know that the elephant and the donkey came from the andrew jackson um there's either? actually going to be a uh a stefan feld game Yes. Two player that's uh, going to be it was that same campaign was the first mudslinging campaign in U.S. politics. And that's what the uh, the or at least last we heard that uh, when we played it, the uh, that's the Feld theme mm -hmm. for it. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, All right, Mira, take care. All right. OK, um. Haircut. Fatigue sets in for the event. It has, yes. All right, fatigue sets in. If the opponent's candidate card... Oh, that's gross. All right. So that means I lose the ability to do that. I don't like you. This Vietnam series on Netflix is probably not as good as The Wire either. Fair point. Um, all right, I'm going to play Herb, Herb Klein. For the CP, I gain a rescue. Did you gain any for that? You didn't because nope. it was four. Uh, Nixon player can add a total of three issue support on any issues. So I'm actually going to use three CP to go ahead and go. Un, deux, trois. trois. Done. Do you wish to trigger the event? Nope. Hmm. Kind of surprised by that. All right. So added those. Done. Amanda. All right, I'm going to play Tricky Dick. Mm -hmm. I am not a crook. For the okay. event. All right. Nixon player loses one momentum marker. May immediately retrieve and play any card from the discard pile as an event. No rest cubes are gained for the retrieve card. All right. So this goes out of play. The Kennedy player may not spend Hold CP on. or campaigning actions in the West or Midwest. For the remainder of this turn. Okay. So. No there we go. So, just to show you guys there. So, I cannot campaign uh, west or midwest. Well, they went that plan. Okay. Wow, that's really unfortunate, man. Um, Hmm. Yeah, why not? I wasn't playing. Uh. Haircut. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. All right, I'm going to play Nixon's Pledge for the CP, so zero rest. You can read that. Um, I choose not to use it. So 4 CP. And I assume you're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So 
four is going to be oh boy so we'll go one two three four done and we will have ended up in North Carolina done Okay. What are you thinking? That all the cards I have are good for you. Oh, excellent. Well, I only have one momentum marker, yeah. so I can't play the event so far. I thought it was... Two to block. Oh, you're right. It's only one, one to, play. to play it. You're right. It's two to block it, and you can't block it. Mm -mm. Oh man, that's horrible. But the the uh, the interesting thing here is, if all those are really good, then what order do you play? Do you, do you bluff and play a really good one early, thinking I won't spend it because I can only choose one? I don't know. <clears throat> Nixon's knee. All right. So you're playing it for the CP, I assume. Yes. Immediately move the Nixon candidate marker to Maryland without paying the normal travel cost. For the remaining turn, Nixon must spend one momentum marker in order to play a card as a campaign action. No. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. No, but maybe. Yeah. All right. So what are you doing? Um. So remember, where can you... Oh, I can't campaign. That's right. You can campaign anywhere. Right. So go ahead. You got four CP. All right, I'm going to use one to come to the Midwest. Okay, anywhere in the Midwest, yeah, it right? Matter. And I'm going to do two in Ohio and one in Michigan. So where did you and end I'm up? End in, up Ohio? in Ohio. Okay, all right. So I am not playing it for the event. That'll go away there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play Harry F. Bird. Two rest cubes. None. And Nixon player can subtract a total of three if if you wish. Um, so two CP. I will go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put them both in Virginia. And are you triggering the event? No. Okay. Amanda. Catholic support. <laughs> Robert, fair point. Um, I don't have to, but I would like to, you know, to have a fresh haircut before we go to, uh, before go Dice to uh, Dice Tower Con. So, uh, Kennedy player can add a total of seven state support anywhere. Seven. Seven. I, you know what? Yeah. Um, it's very well possible I might. So, four CP, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Lock up Ohio. Well, and by lock, now you're carrying the state, right? Two. Just requires support checks. Mm -hmm. Illinois as well, but I'm going to stay. No, I'm going to go to Illinois. Okay. All right. So I am going to go ahead and do that. So I get seven support anywhere, a max of two. So seven. Two, four, six, seven. Done. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Now we're in five. The final one. <laughs> Haircuts are overrated. Haven't had one for years, as I Bjorn. <laughs> yeah. Um. So what card do I want to save? Mm. Wow. Um I'm going to change I'm going to change my plan. I'm going to play Fidel Castro. I was going to save this card, but not now. So two rest cubes. 
Uh, could get a state support and an extra one in defense for two CP. Uh, I like not to, so I will use it for the two CP. So the two campaign points, Amanda might try and remove that. So instead, I'll just go ahead and go one and two. Done. Lazy shave for the CP. All right. So I figured she was saving something big, but in each round of the debate, the Knicks and Cards players reveal, oh, that would have been so good. All right, so you got to rescue three CP. Ah, uh, boo. All right. All right. Whoa, it flew out of my hand. One in Illinois, one in Ohio, and one in Michigan. All right. All right. So now we go into momentum. Momentum says that uh, discard half rounded down, so nobody discards any. I get one. You know what? We're going to go ahead and get two of those for that, that, and then I'm going to get one more there, and I can remove an endorsement, and the endorsements are for the election day, right? I think so. Each empty state in a region with an endorsement marker, right? So we're going to go ahead and punt that one. So that's the same as me placing one. Done. Then decay. And the media, still nobody has it. So the order of those do not shift. They, uh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Then uh, the campaign strategy, we both play, don't look. So I saved this card for two reasons. One, this and that, but also read that. Okay, so that's why I saved the, or, you know, all those reasons. Then, here, can you see it? Yep. Okay. Okay, fifth, I'll draw. Oh, and rest go in, sorry. Okay. And we're in the fifth one. All right, for initiative, I'm going to grab three cubes, though, here, or more than that, I think. One, one. All right, that's me. So that goes there. Uh, let me look. So I absolutely need one of those. So this is the last one before the debate. Hmm. All right, so I think I'm going to I think I'll save that. <clears throat> All right. Uh All right, Amanda, you can go first. The old Nixon for the event. All right, so for the event, the Nixon player loses a momentum marker, and I lose three. Ooh. Wow. That's unfortunate. All right. So all mine are gone. Okay. All right, while Amanda has none, we'll go ahead and bust this up. Recount. <laughs> the picture kills me. The guy with the hanging yeah. chad. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm not doing it for the election day event, and neither is Amanda now. So four CP for me. And now that I'm free to campaign, we're going to go, that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, done. Okay. Second one. Hostile press core for the CP. No, no, because it, it wasn't necessarily terrible for me because it kept her from being able to 
uh, play any of the events that I wanted. I, I was worried that she would be able to play, so there's that. So as the CP, mm -hmm. uh, all right, well, I'm not going to bother with the events then. So four CP and zero rest. Go ahead. Remember, you can campaign where the other candidate is. You just have to do support checks to be able to do so. One in Illinois and three in Michigan. And where do you end up? The stay in Illinois. Okay. Uh, I like all of my cards right now, so this is really, really hard. Uh, originally, I was going to save this card, um, but not now. So, two rest cubes. And uh, two CP. Uh... We're going to throw them down in Ohio. Done. Amanda? Mm. What are you thinking? Just trying to decide if I want to use something for the CP or the event. Okay. <clears throat> Johnson, Jared, and Dallas for the event. All right, LBJ. All right, so two rest cubes. Kennedy player loses state support in Texas and cannot campaign in the South for the rest of the turn. All right. Oh, so this one actually went away. Forgot. So I lose one in Texas and I cannot campaign in the South. I'm going to go and play Mid-Atlantic for the, the event. One rest cube. So I can add a total of five. Delaware, Maryland. New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. Okay. So, here we go. So, Delaware, Maryland. Delaware, Maryland if I want. New Jersey. And I will there. New York and Pennsylvania. We'll go one in New York. I will go and we'll go another in Maryland and another in Jersey. Done. Done. All mm -hmm. right, Amanda. Penultimate card. Okay, I'm gonna play. Um... That's gonna be for the actual uh, election at the end of the game, Robert. Kmoy and Matsu for the no. Just kidding. Yes, for the CP. Okay. Okay, so one right. rest cube. Yep, three CP. Okay. One. Two. All right. It has to be on civil rights, right? Yeah, because you, you use them for that. Sure. Yes. Um, all right. So I'm going to play MLK Arrested. Zero rest cubes. Amanda cannot do that now. And four CP. All right. So we're going to go one, two, three. 
Yeah, the map would need to be completely redone, Emma. Um, because what it, just about everything is almost everything is flipped. <laughs> so you know what? We're just gonna help out Missouri, but we will have ended there. Done. Okay. All right, final card before the debates. Thanks, Rob. All right. Um, I'm playing Nikita Khrushchev for this CP. Okay. One rest cube, three CP. And again, thanks, Rob. Join the 685 patrons we have. We definitely would appreciate it, y'all. One. So that's one, and you have a total of three. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Okay. And you're done. So um. now. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to play Eleanor Roosevelt in uh, her speaking tour. One rest cube. I'm going to play it for the event. I can add a total of five support in the Midwest. So the event. So five, two, four. Oh, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and lock down Missouri. Five. Lock down what? Missouri. It's what's... It's Missouri. Yeah, but it depends if you're from there. Anyway, so momentum. So, uh, discard half your momentum markers, that's done. Now they know that, so Amanda gets a momentum marker, then decay happens there, and nobody has media still, so we don't mess with that. And campaign strategy, here we go, the last cards, don't look. So, there we go, so that and that, okay. That goes there, and here's Amanda's. Good? Mm -hmm. There. All right, we are going into the debates. So let me get my sheet here ready. We need to do campaign strategy and rest first. Ah, I do this every time, don't I? Mm -hmm. All right, so we did that and our rest cubes go into the bag. That's going to be important. Then we go into the debates. Here we go. All right. So let me get that sheet. Make sure I get this. Here we go. So turn six begins. All right. Determine normal initiative. Go ahead. Wait, it's even. It's me. I did the last one. Go ahead. Nixon? Boo. Nixon. Boo. All right. So, you're going to win ties. So, the debate board is going to come into play here. All right. So, retrieve your five cards. All you're worried about is the bottoms of the cards right now. Okay. Okay. Then place the debate board and the tiles. So civil rights is now the bottom one. So there, there, and the first place there. Okay. So then uh, both players select one card and simultaneously reveal it. All right. So Okay. Ready? Yeah. It didn't work. We just got a new patron. Oh, hey. All right. We'll mess with it. Yeah, we got to fix that. All right. So we simultaneously reveal it. So mine is civil rights and it goes on the blue side. So the civil rights and it's going to be worth three points total for that winning. Mine is actually for you as well for economy. Okay. And it's only worth two points. And remember, these get resolved once they have two on a single side. Okay. So for the next one, all right, I choose this one. All right, so for me, I'm going to, I can put this on either side. So simultaneous, so there we go. So now this is going to get resolved. Amanda's is on her side. So it's five CP versus three, which means this comes over here. This is the first one that gets resolved. 
and I, I will get two state support anywhere on the board that I wish. That's going to be two there. Done. Okay. All right. So then we go another one. Okay. So that's going to be four for me. I could choose either side. Amanda chose or put hers. Mm. Okay, done. Mine no longer matter. Okay, so that one gets discarded. It's, no, discarded. I just discarded. Yep, so that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So we resolve this one. Seven to three goes to defense. That'll be three state support. That's one. Good. Two, three, and now I'm getting dangerously close to actually running mm -hmm. out of them. <clears throat> and... The last one, there, and that will be a total of four state support, which will be my last four cubes, potentially. Uh, three, four, done. These get discarded. The debate board is done. The debate is over. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, discard any and all played strategy cards. Oh, oh, okay. And there was no debate card either. So that goes. Cool. Into round seven. So now we, we get seven cards. Seven cards. Correct. All right. And also, just real quick, guys. This has uh, been a while since we've gotten one of these. Yeah. So appreciate it. So we'll go here. And number 686. Yay. So big thank you to David. Thank David. You, David. Cheers, David. Here. Uh, appreciate the support very much. Thank you. All right. So we each get seven. We're going to be discard or play saving two cards now for the campaign strategy for election day, and that's where the states are going to come into play. You're going to get three support checks in those states. <laughs> All right, uh, draw for initiative. One for me, one for Nixon, a second for Kennedy. Nice, even over the cards. Uh, you may go first. All right, just a second. Just a whole bunch of welcome Davids. All right. <laughs> yeah, um, Kennedy smoked Nixon in that yes. debate. That hurt you. All right, now she, now she needs to uh, make hay for the last two rounds. And it's your honor. And neither of us have... Oh, you do have a momentum marker, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. Wow, it's warm in here. All right, I'm going to play Republican TV spots for the event. Okay. I cannot stop it. Zero rescues. Move the Nixon candidate token to New York, but don't pay the normal travel cost, and you may place three media support cubes. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to play lunch counter sit-ins for the CP. So one rest cube. And hmm, I just realized we don't have enough. Ah. Um, there we go. So, three CP will be, where am I? Oh, I'm up there in New York. So, actually, wait. 
One, what? Move the wrong token. Okay. One, where was I? I don't doesn't, know. Matter. It doesn't matter. Two, three. Done. <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that, guys. So, moved uh, here and took off those two. Done. I'm going to play Dwight Eisenhower for the event. We have not had a single support check, have we? Mm -mm. That is so bizarre. It's All right, that means it's going to be an election event, right? Prevention event. Oh, okay. The Nixon player can uh, add a total of seven support anywhere, and it prevents silence, which was already played earlier. All right, so seven anywhere with a max, one per state. Remember, removing also counts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true, Emma. One. Definitely. One. Uh -huh. And she can do that without a support check because it's an event. So that's two. Seven. Cool, I got cubes. All right, good deal. Whew. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to play Henry Cabot Lodge. So Amanda, you can see what the event is. I gain zero rest cubes. Okay, mm -hmm. so four CP. Uh, all right, one, two, three, four, and I will end there. And are you triggering the event? No. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do Industrial Midwest for the. Uh, so this is the third round. Yeah. yeah, sorry, Bye -bye. for the event. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have Industrial Midwest. Nixon can add a total of five state support there, max of two. All right, so there you go. Three, four, how many, five? Mm -hmm. All right. oh, bye, Franny. All right, take care, Franny. Um, I'm going to go ahead and gain two rest cubes for that. And Not going to do it for the event, so I'll gain 2 CP. And hmm. 2 CP. So we're going to go 1, 2, Done. What you thinking? 
about which ones I want to save for the election. Mm -hmm. Two of them, remember. Yep. And it's for the states mm -hmm. that matters now. And the better the card, the bigger the state, right? Obviously. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I totally forgot about that. So good call. Dang it. I made you realize something. Yep. Um, I have three really good ones, and I don't know which two to keep. <laughs> I think I'm keeping that one. All right, I'm going to play the Greater Houston Ministerial Association. <laughs> sure, rub it in. CP. All right, uh, so I can't do it. All right, actually, I could. Uh, wow. Oh, I don't have any tokens. Never mind, no. I can't, so four CP. Okay, go for it. One, two... Mm. You want de defense, huh? Uh, how many are in mass? 16? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to keep those two. So that means I'm going to play these two. Um, hey, Costa. Hey, you're right. So, <clears throat> I'll gain a rescue, Heartland of America, there, and 3CP. So, the 3CP are going to be 1, 3, done. And, well, and you might want to, I don't know. Nixon player can add a total of seven support that have 10 or fewer electoral votes, if you wish, in the West and Midwest. Yeah, sure. Okay, so she's spending that, I can't stop her. So seven state support, West or Midwest with 10 or less and max of one. So seven, go ahead. The 10 or less. Yes. So meaning Iowa and Kentucky, Kentucky are the only two there. Mm -hmm. So there's two. And don't forget about these two. Yep. There are only three, but there's that. So basically anything in the West except Cali. Yeah. Total of seven. So five more. Yeah, I have that. Okay, all right, cool. Mm. Oklahoma. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, cool. So, event triggered, done. Okay. Oh, this is actually, we're on five. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, there's 91 cards, exactly what Tony said there. Yep, about 90. Okay, I'm going to play um, Sputnik 5 for the event. Defense moves up one space on the issue track, and the leader in defense may add a total of three state support anywhere, max of one. So three total, max of one. Yep. One. Two. Three. Okay. And my last card I'm playing for the event. So zero CP or zero rest cubes, seven CP campaigning, no more than one per state. So it's campaigning, so meaning I have to move, et cetera, et cetera. No more than one per state. So there's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. All right. 
So that's out of the game. We go into momentum. <clears throat> so discard half, none. Amanda gets a momentum marker and an endorsement. Late endorsement in the Midwest. Okay. All right, so then issue decay, this goes away. Media, ah, Amanda finally, she does have a me media now, so therefore she can swap two of the issues if she wishes, the order of two that are adjacent. So civil rights moves up or down, basically. Let's move the economy up. Okay, done. Mm -hmm. Then we go into the campaign. So, all right, so don't look. So here, we're looking at state. This is going to be support checks for the state for me there and me there. Okay, so there's those. Here, and, and I have it to where they can see the state, so okay, just so, flip it. Okay, so you tell me. Yeah, you're good. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. There. All right. All right. Uh, and rest cubes go into the bag. Okay. Final round before Six, the election. Seven. One okay. left. All right. One card left. So, election or initiative. One for me, two for me. So, let's see. I will go first. We're going to play LBJ. And we're playing it for the event. The Kennedy player may add, well, uh, two state support in Texas. And I will. And a total of three state support uh, anywhere in the south. No more than two per state. And if the Kennedy card is exhausted, I can flip it. So, it is exhausted. We will then flip that. So, I can add a total of three other a max of two per state. So we're going to go, is it four or less, or is it less than four? It's less than four. So I'm out of cubes. So we're gonna go one. I thought they were. No, they, uh, Pierre said they are not oh. piece limited. Two, and then one more, we'll go down to, you know what? We'll go ahead and get North Carolina. So those count as a single vote for me until Amanda starts removing them. All right, <clears throat> done. All right, I'm going to play Norman Vincent Peel for the event. All right. And the event says Nixon can subtract a total of five state support from Kennedy anywhere, no more than one per state. <laughs> I really wish I had gotten that. <clears throat> All right, so five anywhere, max of one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, Yep. I'm going to play Kennedy's Peace Corps for the event. For the remainder of the turn, I can preempt events when playing cards uh, without needing to expend momentum markers to do... Oh, I misread yeah, that. Yeah, it's, so it's not as good as you think. Yeah, think hold on. So in that case, check that. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yep. I'll go and play New England for the event instead, can add a total of five. Uh, Connecticut, basically the Northeast there, no more than two per state. So we're going to go two to New York. We're going to go one to Connecticut. We'll go Rhode Island and Vermont. And we'll go another in Connecticut. 
and we'll go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll go there. Done. Okay. So that is hold on, we had seven cards, right? One, two, three, four, five. So that was the second. Okay. Oh, good deal, Daniel, and that's funny, Costa. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. It's not over yet, though. Okay, I'm going to play primetime television for the event. Okay, so player can add a total of five state support in any one region where the player has media support cubes. Oh, nice. So in the east... No more than two per state. And gain a rescue. Oh, two? and I should have... Where did that go? New England. I should have gained one rescue as well. There. Okay. So, five, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Thanks. Oh, wait. It's a max of two, wasn't it? Oh, I can't. State. I can't yeah. go there then. So no, on. I can still. I took two, two, and then I'll just take one. Ah, gotcha. From there. Oh, sorry. I, I only had two in Pennsylvania. Yep. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, So I'm going to go ahead and play the last Gathering Momentum in the East, but I'm going to play it for the CP since everything has support. So four CP. And... That'll work. Done. Amanda? <clears throat> And play compact of compact of Fifth Avenue for the event. All right. Immediately move Nixon to New York without paying the normal travel costs. He's there. He, he was there. He gains one issue support in civil rights, two state support in New York, and a media in the East. So I lose both of those. And an issue support on civil rights. And one rescue. So, an ultimate card play of the game. I'm going to go and play Missile Gap for the CP, gaining a rest cube. So, that's going to be 3 CP. So, it's going to be... One, two, three, four. Done. Penultimate card play. All right, I'm play swing state for the event. Okay. Player can add five state support to a single state which is currently being led but not carried, i.e. less than four by the opposing player. Immediately move the player's candidate token to that state but do not... Oh, that is so good. So you get to add five anything that is not carried. So that would mean removing. Uh, or, or adding. But if I'm... I thought we, there couldn't be two... There can't. So... So, you get five. So Add five state support to a single state, which right. is currently being led but not carried by the opposing player. Right. So, remove in that right. Remove so, you can't add. do Pennsylvania or New York. Right. 
You could do California. Mm -hmm. could do... Um, you could do Michigan. I mean, anything that has less than four, but North it must Car have some blue oh, on North it. North Carolina has five because that is a... Has four. No, it doesn't. I mean four. Yeah. Okay. Um... So that's three, and then you add two. That's five. And, um, and I move to Cali. Right. And to finish that off, I'm going to play it for the event. I gain two rest cubes. And that says, on election day, the player leading Connecticut, which currently is me, mm -hmm. uh, gets five support checks in California. Okay. And done. And I'll actually replace that with that. And there. Okay. All right, I will play this for the CP. Edward in 2020. <laughs> uh, all right, East Harlem Pledge for the CP. So you get a rest cube and three CP. I okay, got the rest. Here, I'm going to put use this endorsement for my sure. rest cubes that have actually have three. One. Two, mm -hmm. three. Okay. All right. So now we go into momentum, which you get a, uh, do the, hold on. Decay half, nope. Earn your rewards. You get one more of those. That's going to matter. And then this goes back. So that can actually replace that now. And whoever has the most media, you can shift the order of those if you wish. I don't think it matters I at this point. I don't think it matters either. They're empty. Um, so campaign strategy, so here we go. These are going to go in, so I will show, don't look, those states there, okay, and for Amanda, that good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, and rest cubes go into the bag. There's a lot of rest cubes. Wow, there were so little support checks in this. All right. Okay, on to the election day. Here we go. Remove all media and issue support cubes from the board and place into the political capital bag. So that's all of them there. Okay. Players exchange your momentum markers for two cubes each. I don't have enough. So you need two more. Let's put two in California. There you go. Boom, done. Okay. There. Now initiative. Your honor. All right. Oh, this is important. Oh, all right. Kennedy wins. So I get initiative. Both players retrieve their four campaign strategy cards for their stack. Uh, each player gets three support checks with initiative result. Uh, okay. Winner has initiative, right, so it's me. So we have four cards. Each player gets three support checks in the four states indicated by each card, and the player with initiative resolves all their cards first. So I will go ahead and start in Montana. So three support checks. Remove one. Okay, next is going to be Louisiana. Is it, do I get anything for the, my I don't, uh, not yet. Okay. I don't believe. Um, all right, let me go through this, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Hold on. Oh, no, it's it's one of the, each empty state in a region with any endorsement markers right. receives That's one what I thought. of that right. player's color. Okay. Uh... Yep. Okay, cool. So we're doing right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one. Then Louisiana. So again, support check um, for Louisiana. So if I have it, do I add my support to it? Then I need to double check. Um, Oh. 
So I'm just debating whether or not uh, um, um, because we haven't done any support checks. So I need to make sure that the support checks don't add to it. Um, one support, okay, support check, right. Yeah, you don't add to it. So the support check in Louisiana doesn't matter if I'm reading this correct. Um, and Ohio wouldn't matter then in Pennsylvania wouldn't, uh, I, no, wait a minute. Yeah, you do do support. Yeah, so it does. So you actually, ah, this is frustrating. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. So the play it right. And uh, support. Okay. Any state. Okay. The election day. There it is. Sorry. Um, for each of the cards, the player gains three support checks. The player with initiative resolves their first. And so getting back to support checks. I'm reading through the example here. Okay, here. Uh, if you gain support cubes in a location already occupied by it, right, um, each can gain there instead allows you to remove one. It's returned to the supply owner's supply. If you have any support cubes left over, once all opposing cubes have been removed, yeah, so opposing cubes, then those do get added. Okay, so you would have gotten one more in Montana. So okay. let me back up. So Louisiana, I get to do three support checks. Holy cow, that was way harder than it should have been. So I get to add one to it. Then to Ohio, I get three draws. I get to add one to Ohio. And three for Pennsylvania. I get to add two. Done. Provided I'm doing that right. Done. So Amanda, you're up. All right. Whoo. Pennsylvania. Okay. It's three, yeah. Yep. So both of those go yep. away. That's painful. Okay. Then Iowa. I had two. New Mexico. I add three. Hawaii. I had two. All right. So after that, resolve the election day in uh, determine uh, so initiative. So, for me, we'll do the bottom one first that says if I oh, win... Oh, this doesn't replace it? No, it's oh, okay. in addition. So, four, 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 so it doesn't take place. So, that one, the, the unpledged electors doesn't matter. And then on election day, the player leading Cal uh, Connecticut can do five support checks in California. This very well might decide the game if it's not already. So, one, two, three, four, five. Remove one. Hmm, that hurt. I had a lot of rest cubes. Wow. All right. So now, uh, undecided states would no. Are there any? I don't. Uh, Pennsylvania has none. Um, Which you we'll get tip it. towards the player with the endorsement marker. You get it. There's no endorsement marker. I can't believe that. Wow. So it tips towards me. That was massive. That sucks. Um, add one support cube in every undecided state. Retrieve your seals. Or, or. Yeah, I don't see any other state that's empty. Okay. Is Indiana empty? Uh, oh, no, it has yours. No, more. it has yours. Pretty sure these big states got me. Yeah, you got it. I had the entire west. And I had the entire south and northeast, which is what you can't let happen, I think. I don't know. Can you hand me Alaska and Hawaii when I, I can get a chance, please? 
So do we want to make it dramatic? I don't care. All right. So you want to count yours? I'll count mine on camera. Here we go. All right. So. Whew. All right. I'm going to cheat and use a calculator. Plus, you guys can't see it, so that's fine. All right. 42, hmm, 54, 63, 67, okay. 87. Sorry, yeah, I, my bad. Have to do it quietly. Two sixty nine is the goal. Two forty-six to two eighty-two. <laughs> Good game. All right. That. Pennsylvania was the swing state and did determine the difference. So there's that. that yes, Christopher, sucks. your home state did make a difference. Yes. And I apologize. Just the fact that we hadn't done any of the support checks, I was rusty, okay. and I had to look that up. And Happens. so there you go. Yep, there you go. Fibrous Edward lizard. Edward Kennedy. There is. And, uh, there well, is. Uh, there right? was. So it was, right? So I want to, I'm going to actually like math this with a calculator just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of it? it? Like, like you said, it's just an area majority game, but it, ha it feels different because it feels like an election. It feels, you know, it feels like, oh, I've got, I've like you just things that you just know, like, oh, I've got to get Ohio. I've got to get Pennsylvania, maybe Florida, definitely California, definitely Texas, you know, just, or at least the big states yeah, you're, you, you you're just, trying you to try to. And or then, if not, you go towards yeah, like a I whole got, bunch of little I, ones. All I had the entire West mm -hmm. um, and I was able to get New York, which was a big one. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> the comments yes. are awesome. Yeah. Um, so, but I mean, yeah, it's just in it. What's. What's also very interesting to me, being as involved in politics as I am as a person, seeing the map and seeing how the Electoral College was in 1960 is so vastly different than it is now. It's, that's very interesting to me as well. But. Yeah, I think it's a really good stepping off point for CDGs yeah. um, for a step up from like, like a 13, 13 days. Like 13 right. days, like Fort Sumter. 13 days, Fort Sumter, this, then start going. Right, and then Twilight Struggle mm -hmm. or some of the CDG war games mm -hmm. out there. And, yeah, I think this does a really, really good job of it. And from what everything I've heard, the GMT version actually improved uh, some of the rules and some of the ordering on stuff and okay. whatever. So definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, go to GMT site. I imagine they have it or secondary online game store or whatnot. Yeah, ask not what heavy cardboard can do exactly, for you. Exactly, but what can heavy cardboard? But what you can do for heavy cardboard, just... <clears throat> you can make just, me full time. There you go. Right. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so thanks, everybody, for uh, bearing with us through a very, very hot day here yes. at HCHQ. Hopefully, this is the last stream we have to worry about it because we have our uh, furnace coil getting replaced and our AC unit getting replaced. As by the time we're all back from Florida. Yes. From it Dice won't Tower be Con. 14 bajillion degrees in here. Right. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out with yes. us. Really appreciate it. Like and, sub like and subscribe. It helps the show. It really does. Something else that really helps the show, uh, pledgehc.com. If you want to uh, uh, be like the 686 patrons that we have, we really would appreciate it. Uh, it helps bring all of this to you all more often. So, thanks, everybody. 
for joining us. Amanda, let's yes. get out of here. Yes, let's All right. go take cold showers or right. something. Or haircut. I got to fly. Yeah, All he right. has to go. He so. gets to go. There you see. <laughs> take care, everybody. <laughs>